Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. Though many are predicting the end of the world, I'd like to update you on the state of the market. After I show you some metrics and exactly what is happening in this market, perhaps we can even relieve your fears a little. The cryptocurrency market as a whole is down 1.7% at the time of this recording, with a total of $1.11 trillion worth of coins and tokens in circulation. XRP is down 3.5% in the last 24 hours. Also, 4.3% of the XLM Lumen is available while seated. Just over 10 cents as of this recording. Click the like button below if you enjoyed reading this and would like to engage in conversation about XRP, other great digital assets, and the latest developments in the cryptocurrency market. This is something we are aware of and will naturally spread. As we see volume being taken from this market, it is important that people all across the world are aware of what is happening in this digital transformation. But what's more is that the US dollar, which in my opinion is executing a complete fake out, appears to be stabilizing. If we examine the past five years, we see that we saw a considerable decline during the time of the epidemic. After suffering a massive write down, the dollar has been showing signs of strength over the past month or two. The real world events of June 2023, however, will be revealed. And we see that dollar strength, at least I'm going to say that's transient, is only brief. The US has gone dangerously near to a default on fat in decades. For the first time ever, the Speaker of the House was removed from office. Israel and Palestine are at war with each other. The highest mortgage rates since 2000. We borrow almost $2 trillion a year to fund our budget deficit, and housing prices continue to rise. 17,000 acres have been destroyed by flames in Hawaii. Voluntary output cuts from OPEC come as a complete surprise. The price of a barrel of oil has been above $95 for more than a year now. Here in California, where I am, a gallon of petrol costs roughly $7. The United Auto Workers have called for strikes at Ford, General Motors, and Lantis. Every day, we are living through a new chapter in human history. Right? Once more, US dollars. They assert that the sudden collapse of the US currency, anticipated by the Fed inflation flip of $8 trillion, will cause a critical price bubble in Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and other cryptocurrencies, making them competitive with gold. Everyone appears to have forgotten that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies were originally designed to protect its owners from rising prices. And if you read this piece again, you'll see that that's essentially what they're discussing. Since they have no choice but to restart the money printer, inflation is also discussed at length. But what are large organizations like BlackRock trying to achieve? Specifically, they want to invest in digital currencies. We know they've been discussing this since we overheard them. Institutional interest has risen dramatically in Bitcoin and, to a lesser extent, other prominent cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and XRP. BlackRock has taken the lead on this, as their voices have been heard throughout this process. Institutional investors can now buy Bitcoin. This has led to a great deal of speculation. I don't think the rumor that BlackRock is working with Ripple and investing in XRP is too far from the reality. ISO 20, oh, 22 come on, then. When will the pharmaceutical supply chain be blockchain enabled so that hospitals, health systems, and pharmacies may all benefit? By the end of the year 2023, in November. Everyone should anticipate this soon because it will cause a wave. As to why the XLS30 is undergoing such rigorous performance testing, read on. Alma is finished at this point. In spite of the current market conditions, where liquidity is being withdrawn from the system at the time of this recording, this company keeps investing and expanding, most. Recently introducing automatic swap trading and liquidity provisioning capabilities for the XRP ledger. Has this been the plan the whole time? In light of this, ISO 2022 look at this. Fast adoption of CBPR and structured address data, structured address data is implemented in SIPA. When will we be completely prepared to receive and transmit messages on November 23rd? 
who are the two initial body members of ISO 20022 in the EPMX format, and how far away is Bitcoin in under 200 days? At this point, I'm going to label these steep price cuts as such. Discounts the rhythm is on time currently, the cycle is on schedule. The next 200 days will fly by in what seems like a blink of an eye, and we can be sure that much will have changed by the time we look back at what has just emerged regarding the Middle East. Interestingly, banks are now dramatically tightening leading standards, Apollo reports that levels of leading standards are now similar to those seen in 2008. But the Federal Reserve and other major financial institutions insist we're heading for a smooth landing. The general consensus is that gentle landings are undesirable. It doesn't look like we'll be making a soft landing, though. From where I sit, it seems like the dollar is poised to collapse. Also, the flow of capital must go somewhere. My personal opinion is that Northrop Grumman's stock price, which is up over 10%, is not where the money should go. Is this not shady in light of the day? Markets are currently trying to predict the level of violence that will result from this disagreement, as we have just witnessed. You're absolutely right that a significant threat to stocks would be any hint of outside interference. As a result, significant institutions are always the target of a dump just as they begin pumping. In most cases, its effects won't last very long. Fantastic chart demonstrating that 447 Americans are now working two full-time jobs follows. There has been a 33% increase in the number of Americans working two full-time jobs since 2008, while the number of people employed part-time has increased by about 1.2 million since June. To combat rising prices, more Americans are juggling multiple careers. We just smoked a minority of people on that money printer. My guess is that power will be restored. What happens to the value of the dollar when central banks print more money and add to the national debt? Isn't there a point where everything must cease and collapse? Do we look at what the G20 and the World Economic Forum have said, or do we look at what BRICS has been looking at? How far do we beat this thing? Or do we ignore it and let it go by? At the moment, that's all I can spare. Don't be shy about hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. See you later, bye.